Mohs Micrographic Surgery. We understand the diagnosis of skin cancer can be a worrisome situation, but the treatment of this condition should not be a frightening experience. Mohs surgery differs from other skin cancer treatments in that it permits the immediate and complete microscopic examination of the removed cancerous tissue so that all the roots and extensions of the cancer can be eliminated. Due to the methodical manner in which tissue is removed and examined, Mohs surgery has been recognized as the skin cancer treatment with the highest reported cure rate, up to 99%. It has the lowest chance of cancer regrowth. It spares the most healthy skin in the tissue removal process. It minimizes the potential for scarring or disfigurement. It is the most exact and precise means of skin cancer removal. And it is cost-effective outpatient surgery utilizing local anesthesia. Physicians performing Mohs surgery must have specialized training. In addition, the Mohs surgeon must have the required surgical and laboratory facilities and be supported by a well-trained staff. Mohs micrographic surgery is a state-of-the-art treatment for skin cancer in which the physician serves as surgeon, pathologist, and reconstructive surgeon. It relies on the precision and accuracy of microscopic analysis to identify the skin cancer location and ensure removal of the skin cancer down to its roots. With this method, the surgeon checks the removed tissue while you wait. Further surgery can be performed immediately, and repair of the surgical wound is usually completed the same day. Because Mohs micrographic surgery is done under local anesthesia, each patient can expect to be awake during the procedure with no greater discomfort than when the initial biopsy was performed. During a Mohs surgical procedure, the Mohs surgeon removes the visible portion of the tumor and the following activities take place. A thin layer of tissue is removed from the tumor site. A map or drawing is made of the removed tissue to be used as a guide to the precise location of any remaining cancer cells. The removed tissue is sectioned, thinly sliced, then mounted on microscope slides for examination. The entire bottom surface and outside edges of the tissue section are thoroughly examined under the microscope to check for evidence of remaining cancer cells. If more tumor is found, its location is traced on the map so that only areas with remaining skin cancer undergo further surgery. If any of the sections contain cancer cells, the Mohs surgeon uses the map to return to the specific area of the tumor site where the skin cancer is still present. The surgeon then removes another thin layer of tissue only from the specific area within each section where cancer cells were detected. The newly removed tissue is then microscopically examined for additional cancer cells. If microscopic analysis still shows evidence of disease, the process continues layer by layer until the cancer is completely removed. When the removed tissue shows no sign of disease, the removal process stops, preserving or saving healthy normal tissue. This technique ensures that all the diseased tissue is removed, thereby minimizing the cosmetic impact. The importance of leaving as much normal, uninvolved skin as possible is readily appreciated when the skin cancer involves the eyelid, lip, nose, ear, or face. The advantages of the Mohs procedure to the patient simply put, is that a smaller wound will heal quicker and with a smaller scar. Arrival at our Skin Cancer Center, you will be escorted to one of our outpatient surgical suites. We will then numb the area of skin around your cancer using a very small needle and a local anesthetic. A thin layer of skin involved with the cancer will be removed. Any bleeding will be controlled by cauterizing with an electric needle. The wound will be bandaged and you will be able to return to the waiting room. While you are waiting, the piece of tissue will be processed in our laboratory, where it is frozen, cut, stained, made into slides, and read under a microscope by your doctor. This entire process usually requires about an hour. On average, the complete removal of the skin cancer will require two to three trips to the surgical suite. Some cancers, due to their spread into local tissue, will require more sessions to remove the tumor completely. However, even these larger cases can usually be completed in the same day. You should come prepared to stay all day because it is likely you will require some type of repair of the surgical wound following removal of the cancer. This is usually performed on the day of surgery but rarely must be delayed a day or so. Some additional tips to prepare for Mohs micrographic surgery are if deemed necessary by your physician make sure you have taken your preoperative antibiotics before surgery. 
To further reduce the chances of bleeding complications, avoid all alcohol three days before and three days after your surgery. Stop smoking for a period of two weeks before and two weeks after your surgery to improve wound healing. The size and depth of the surgical wound after removal of your skin cancer cannot be predicted in advance. The method of reconstruction cannot be predetermined either. Following the removal of your skin cancer, your physician will consider and discuss with you the options for repairing the surgical wound. The surgical wound will be repaired by stitching the edges together or by using a skin graft or skin flap. Most surgeons are extensively trained in surgical reconstruction. This includes basic closures, complicated skin flaps, and skin grafts. Most surgeons are trained dermatologists with extensive knowledge of the skin and its healing properties. We are concerned with both the functional and cosmetic outcome of your surgical repair. Generally, your physician will perform the reconstructive surgery necessary to repair the wound following removal of your skin cancer. However, occasionally the repair may be delayed a day or so. Delay of the repair by up to a week usually has no adverse effects on healing. At the completion of your surgery and repair, our nursing staff will give you instructions on how to care for your wound. Patients should understand that there is not an absolute guarantee that any given procedure will be totally free of complications or adverse reactions. Most surgery is no exception. During surgery, tiny nerve endings are cut, which may produce a temporary or permanent numbness in and around the surgical area. If a large tumor is removed or extensive surgery is required, occasionally a nerve to muscles may be cut, resulting in temporary or permanent weakness in a portion of the face. This is, however, an unusual complication. The surgical area may remain tender for several weeks or months after surgery, especially if large amounts of tissue was removed. Rarely, some patients experience intermittent itching or shooting pain in the surgical area. In addition, skin grafts and flaps used to cover surgical areas may not fully survive, requiring additional repair.